Okay guys, I just came into the studio this morning. It's currently Monday and I'm going to challenge myself to build something without ordering any parts just by using what I have. So I was thinking last night and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make a like a soldering, not a soldering, a uh, heat insert tool, right? Those fancy ones that you can buy or build. But I'm just going to challenge myself to use what I have and design whatever things that need 3D printing and then just make it work. So um, if, if I did make it work, I'll, I'll put a picture here. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be like a week for me, but it's going to be however long this video takes for you. So, okay. So this is, this is what I've been looking through all my boxes and drawers and stuff. And I have two linear rails that are broken. Um, these are just, they're junk. They can't be used for a printer. But they can be used for this. Like there's there's a little bit of binding, but it'll be okay. Um, for this, it'll be just fine. I'll try to l actual lubricate them, but this one's good. So. I have my super cheap, like five bucks from AliExpress with the uh, the special the special tips, and I have some extrusion. This is what just some of my leftover extrusion so what i was thinking was that if i did that and then i make a bracket to hold it like that and that'll be my base and but to to pre prevent it from tipping over i thought i would just make something to hold the, those like that and that'll give it like a solid base so that if I, when I plunge down, it won't tip towards me. I have some slightly longer ones of these. Maybe I should get them because they're actually, they're twice as long and do that. I'll see. Uh, this is just figure, figuring stuff out. And then I have one more, more thing. Hold on. So I have one more challenge for myself. Um, I can only use what I have in this workshop and technically I do not have my computer here. I have my, my streaming computer, yes, but I don't have my actual computer that has my IronCAD software. So I'm limited to using online stuff from here. And I was thinking, should I just go back to Onshape because I, I, can, I can do anything in Onshape, but... Should I just lower the like entry level to people and show you that this is quite easy? Hopefully. Um, so I'm going to use Tinkercad and only Tinkercad, which means I don't have all of the uh, actual stuff available for me. So I would need to just draw whatever I can in Tinkercad and work from there so yeah let's next next clip okay i have the uh, first part that that i printed and it looks okay um i want to add i'm planning to add to add just a block right here to match the height so that it doesn't tip forward um and i need to to give myself a little bit more tolerance. So I'll probably add like half a millimeter of tolerance right here. Um, so, but that's, this is a good start. This is a good prototype. So um, I'm going to print the, the, uh, the pieces for this while I change that. So right back. While the first part, the red one here is printing, I thought I would just uh, record my screen while I make the center uh, brace. Uh, I did, I did find these guys, um, but that would be cheating, and I don't think that looks very nice. And I wanted to use minimal, min, 
as few par parts as possible. So a printed piece to hold this together would be better. And I, I want the, uh, I want the back one to be offset for to the back to give me more room in the front. So I'm going to turn my camera off so that you don't have to look at my face. And then this will be a super quick just time lapse of me doing this. And there we go. Um, Tinkercad is very, very simple and doing precise things takes a little bit of time, but it, it's not impossible. That's what I'm saying. Um, would I prefer to do this in a, on another software? Yes. Can I do it in Tinkercad? Yes. And that's the point. Uh, it's like building blocks. It's super easy. Um, to do like small brackets if you want to make something small to mount something that you have. Tinkercad is really good. So let's print this and we'll start looking at assembling some of this stuff together. So here's my progress so far with the uh, two new mounts. Still, still using the, uh, the old one. The, uh, the other one is printing right now. So um yeah this is looking really nice um i think this is it for today i'm just gonna get the the printed parts on here and i'll be back tomorrow because i need to shoot another with video right now so but this is uh this is a good place to stop for today um i'm gonna make the uh the, the holder for the iron and then i'm debating how to do a spring back system on the back and uh, that will kind of wrap over. I'll have to look at that tomorrow. So yeah, this is uh, this is my progress for today. And I'm back to the studio. It's been two days. Um, I took some time off to play some disc golf, do some CAD stuff, uh, working on Pegasus. But I'm back in the studio today. So let's um, have a look at what I've done. Uh, I've already done some stuff today. So I'm going to show you how I messed up and how I fixed it. So, okay. So my first mistake is that I made this, uh, to hold my, my iron and I just, I got the, uh, the, the dimensions for the MGN nine C, uh, bolt holes. And then I just made this just assuming that that was the right, correct, uh, sorry, uh, right uh, orientation. But yeah, that's not the right orientation. So I fixed it. Luckily, it's like a 10 minute print. Um, and yeah, so now I have that. Let me put that on first. And yeah, so now I have that. So I can attach that to there. I just put in some some holes. I'm just going to use zip ties to hold my, my iron on. I think that'll be good enough for this. And yeah, that, that gives me quite a lot of movement. I just need to make sure that it's straight. So I'll probably just jam something in there to make it straight. Um, I just, I just wasn't going to try to match this, uh, cone cone in Tinkercad. So I just made a normal cylinder. Uh, but that's, that's easy, right? I just need, need to make this work. It doesn't need to look good. So the, um, the iron is attached and 
this will work just like this. This could be complete. Um, but I want to I wanna pick it up a notch. I want to make it fancy. So I want to make it automatically go back up. Um, and I was thinking I could either use like some sort of elastic just attached to the top and it'll pull it back up. But what if I just used a uh, counterweight that's just slightly heavier than this, then it would be a little bit more, a little smoother. Because I have another rail. So I could put another rail on the other side. And then have a um, belt. I have a bunch of random belts from, from stuff. And a pulley at the top. But then I noticed that I would need two pulleys because it's, it's too wide for one pulley, right? So I need two pulleys. So I'll try to make some sort of holder for those. And I need to run around and see if I can find something that's heavier than, than this um, to put on the other side. So um, I'm, I'll come back to you when I have the idlers on the top and I'll attach this to the back as well. Alright, so here's my progress. I've uh, added these two idlers so that I can run a belt from here up over and down. And then I'll put another rail on there with a counterweight. So what I've what I came up with was an adjustable one. Because I have a, a bunch, I have three packs of these that I don't need for anything. And I'll just use these as counterweights. So I, I uh, looked at the weight of the, this whole assembly and eight of these is the same weight. So if I do 10 or more, that should um, always make it go up. And I made a, I made a little, little block here that I can just screw into that so that I can adjust the, uh, the weight. I might need to add more, I, I don't know, but I'll, I'm printing this and also I'm printing a new arm uh, that has a um, loop for the belt. So yeah, I'll come back to you when I have these two printed, uh, the printing right now. So it's at, it's at 6%. Um, yeah, so um, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've, um, I have the, um, the new arm with the belt clip on and it seems to be seems to be good um like it it's not ideal that it's so far out i might reprint that at some point but yeah that that's i should be good enough for this it's not a printer so oh yeah i uh i have one of these just flying around here and i'm not sure where it came from so that's fun um, the second one, I have the, the block, uh, but me being an idiot, I printed the, uh, the holes in the wrong direction again. So yeah, need to fix that. But the, uh, the M6 going in just, yeah, that works. So, um, um, printing another one and yeah. I'll, I'll spend some time uh, attaching the uh, this thing, getting it straight, and printing a new, new one of these. So I'm back in the studio, and this is my progress so far. I'm pretty happy with this. I need to do some adjustments. Uh, because of these rails being so bad, um, it doesn't actually drop until I... Uh, help it a little bit so I need to add more weight um, but if I add more weight in the back it's going to tip over so I'm going to try to put these screws here like like this instead to keep all the weight you know, centered um, but this is already great because if I uh, if I just let go it won't fall at least so this is a um, step in the right direction. Uh, I only needed to print this block three times to make it work. Uh, measure twice, print once. Um, so yeah, 
I'll try to make a new type of block that puts all the screws here, and then I'll just put more screws on. Um, and I also put on uh, a block here and down here just to stop it from going off. Yeah, this is uh, this is looking good so far. And that's my finished product. I'm super happy with this. Um, I need more bolts than I thought I did, but um, this is great. I just used it on a couple of parts for my Mark II, and it works great. So yeah, that's another tool for the workshop. The only thing that I want to do to this is I want to extend this because it's super short. Um, but I'm not going to do this, uh, do that without having the proper um, connectors and stuff. And I don't have that in the workshop. So that, that'll be another thing. But yeah, this is, uh, this is great. I might want to do like a um, better way to attach the, um, the iron, because if I need to use this anywhere else than here, I need to cut these zip ties. So I might do some sort of clamp, um, like a quick, quick connect clamp at some point. But just by using what I had in Tinkercad, I'm super happy with this. So yeah. So there you have it. I made something um, just by using what I had. It took me like three days, but I do this part time. This is not some full time. So I'm here for like two hours. I'm here for like three hours. And I'm doing other stuff like tuning uh, Mark II and working on other things around the workshop. So yeah, uh, let me know how you like this video. It's a little bit different. Um, so hit that thumbs up if you haven't. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done that. I'm going to do some really stupid things coming up. So yeah, um, see ya.